Hey, welcome back to the studio. Real quick, we're going to look at the Save the Dates uh, 2023 Films Preview from Netflix. We've skipped a few seconds ahead, just past like the little 2022 movies yeah. intro. Um, so some of this stuff we might have actually reacted to the trailer for it already, but mm -hmm. these are like the dates and it might give us a few more, you know, things we haven't yeah, seen. Some clips. So we're just going to watch it and we'll talk about it. Let's go. Guys, we got work to do. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, dragon. Distraction do you hang two. Out all the time, or do you just Eddie come up Murphy. Here food and women. Where's our waiter? You and I tell each other everything, right? Always. This is my case. I've got to make this right. Your reputation Murder Mystery you. 2. They make it a second? That's nice to hear. Uh, not in a positive way, I'm afraid. Oh, not... Okay. Okay. I'm whatever I need to be to keep her safe. Ooh, Extraction I think 2. I'm every time. Did you watch the first one? No, but I know a lot of people like it. <laughs> we have no idea what they're capable of. But life is full of surprises. What do we left them? What? Hmm. I could take you out of here. Don't improvise. Trust no one. Break is over. Who said that? Something is happening, and I don't trust them. Ooh. For all that you love, show them no mercy. That one looks cool. Okay. Serious. All right. It uh, it looks like we've got some movies this year. Yeah. Okay. So the first one <clears throat> I'm seeing that I I would like to see is Rebel Moon. I have some information about this. You do? I actually do. Okay. This is a Zack Schneider movie. Okay. And it was originally a pitch for star wars but when he it was like a star wars thing he wanted to do and mm -hmm. then when he realized that once you once you give something to disney and <laughs> lucas film it's theirs it but like it belongs yeah, yeah. to them you can't do anything with it after you've moved on yeah, yeah. so any anybody that brings something new to star wars that idea doesn't belong to them okay um and so he's doing this uh, future sci-fi thing it looks like there's some fun elements but mm -hmm. why I'm, I'm going on from rebel moon this is yeah, yeah i was yeah. about to talk about something else um they need to stop just throwing uh millie bobby brown in movies and like given like i don't even know how to describe it it's like mm -hmm. female led and it's not great I'll 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 give you kind of what I saw with this whole thing. With so damsel, first, yeah, I think is first what it was we've called. got Gal Gadot. Yeah. Um. With it's it's they're like buzz actors, you know, like buzz yeah, yeah, words, yeah. Right. That's what they when people that's what the see, trailer was when when normies see they get interested, right? Yeah. And then we've got um, I was interested to see Eddie Murphy. I haven't seen him in a minute. Um, not, but Jonah Hill, Jonah is another Hill one of those. Murphy. Where is he? Dragons, obviously. Um, with Jonah Damsel. Hill, and then Extraction with... Uh, so this is you people. Hemsworth. Jonah Hill, Eddie mm -hmm. Murphy. Um, yeah, and, and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of these kind of buzz actors. Um, Idris Elba Idris is Elba, kind of yeah. one of those. I mean, it is smart on Disney+. On Disney Plus. A yeah. Netflix part to yeah. show us big name actors that's mm -hmm. going to be coming to the to their streaming service 
for, for this trailer. That's what they're doing. Right. They're hitting the big Now, this one ones. we know. We knew Adam Sandler has a contract with, with Netflix. Netflix, yeah. So it's expected to see more movies from him. But a um, second of not a great movie? I don't know. I think it depends on if it's, if it was successful. Mm-hmm. If this was successful, we don't people know. Well, enjoyed it uh, and had fun with the movie, then, uh, I, I mean, I guess he can do a second one. It's his thing. Yeah. Um, I like this actor. I always forget his name. But he's been in a ton of stuff. Yeah, he's just solid. He's he's just a solid actor. He's got good on screen presence. Mm-hmm. Um, we got mother, the mother, with I don't know her name. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. Is that who that Am is? Am I correct? Is that Jennifer Lopez? I I can't tell. I think it's Jennifer Lopez. Maybe it's because the wrong? wet hair. I can't tell. I, I'm I'm having a hard time seeing it. From That's my Jennifer screen. Lopez. If, uh, sure, let's yeah, say sure. I, I can't tell. I know what Jennifer Lopez looks okay. like. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going off of what you have to say, Wyatt. I'm not sure. And you got Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth Chris with Hemsworth. Extraction 2, which is uh, a lot of people really like the first mm-hmm. one. Uh, it's solid. I've seen some stunt work and some camera I work from it. I did not watch Extraction. I, I watched... need to watch it. Now, comment down below if, if I'm getting this way off or if I'm correct with this. I always, without watching it, thought Extraction was very similar to 13 hours that um john krasinski, john krasinski made yeah yeah i it's think it, it's a similar concept of like a uh, military personnel going in and doing a job yeah you know um but it's cool to see that they're doing a second one mm-hmm. i guess i if if it's good you know this? Is there anything here that's got you really excited? Did you see anything that really just tickled your fancy? The last one, the moon one? Uh, 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 Rebel Moon, Rebel I guess. Moon. Yeah. I, I guess it's Rebel Moon. Um, I like this actor. I forget his name. Where is he? The fact that they're putting it out in December also means it's one of the better films they're doing this year because yeah. usually they put out, you know, in December. They're bigger films. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they do that. I guess it's a strategic thing, but I don't know where he went. Um, but I saw some actors in that that I enjoy. Yeah. I I don't know. This is how many movies was this? Oh, it was like, like seven. Eight, yeah, nine. seven. Yeah. Eight. I don't know. So it's it's obviously not their full roster. No, no. But it's a couple of the ones that are going to be coming out. And look, I mean, even last year with the Netflix movies, it was mostly, I think we said it on the video, it was going to be hit or miss with a lot of them. It was yeah. mostly miss, I think, with a lot of the movies. Mm. I I saw a bunch of them. I would rather watch these movies, though, than Disney Plus movies. True. And now, it, I, granted, Netflix gave us some, you know, like Pinocchio. Yep. If, if, they, if they do this thing where they release a movie every, what was it, what? what every week so mm. we had 52 movies at the end of the year yeah basically if, i didn't if they do this thing and we get one pinocchio out of it mm-hmm. i'm happy i didn't mind like pale blue eyes yeah yeah that okay. wasn't bad so it's the just pale blue eye like a, you know murder pinocchio, mystery thing. these were some of the ones that came out that were better glass yeah. onion glass onion was there was glass the onion was middle of the road Last year's full trailer that was their big like end of end of yeah. the trailer kind of thing was Knives Out too you know yeah that's onion yeah but I think it was really the the pale blue eye and um, Pinocchio were the two big Netflix movies for me this year there I think there was like one or two other ones I just can't think of them I mean I tried the Gray Man we watched the Adam yeah, Project that oh Adam Project Adam was Project good. Was Adam fun. Project was good. You know, the Gray Man was fun. Was, I it was an action the, movie. Look, I enjoyed the Gray Man. I'm a big fan of Mission Impossible, okay. and so the Gray Man was right up my alley. Okay? All right, yeah. Uh, I I I just saw everything I saw. It felt very meh. That's so. what a lot of these streaming service movies feel like, especially Netflix. Yeah, unless they're coming out with something specific, it they feel like action movies, which aren't bad, which aren't good. Mm-hmm. It's just like. They're action movies. But, I mean, even if we were getting something closer to, like, the Fast and Furious mm-hmm. movies, right? Those are high-intensity action, but it doesn't feel... I don't know. The Netflix movies don't even give me don't that quite feeling. Get that. You know? Not that. Not enough action. Maybe. Um, I'm looking forward to... It wasn't on here. Love, Death, and Robots. I oh, want a Love, Death, there, and Robots. I don't know if it, they're going to give us one this year or not, but that's we'll what see. I want. Yeah. Is, is it season four? 
would be the I next guess. one. Or, yes. or season three part. There was only like eight episodes in season three. But they had some it's heavier been a year. hitters as They'll far as animation. Four. I think yeah. they would just go to four. Okay. But that's what I want this year. Um, let us know down in the comments mm-hmm. below what you want from Netflix this year. If you want you know, a sequel to something or if you just want you know, a story that's out there that would be great for Netflix. Yeah. Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time.